Lots of people love Game of Thrones and I am one of them, but as a dietitian, I have to let you know that there is a healthy eating lesson in Game of Thrones that I think most people are missing. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I'm super excited for the new season of Game of Thrones to start. I love watching it, Jason loves watching it, and we always watch it together. Plus, Jason has read all of the books, and I started the books. I actually read the first one under a palm tree on our honeymoon, but then I stopped because I realized that I liked watching the show and not knowing what was going to happen. So I'll probably go back to them once the show is over and all of the books are out, um, and I can see, you know, kind of that version of things. But bottom line, I'm really excited for new episodes to be coming on. On. And today I want to talk to you about something that I think most people love about the books and the show, and that is the food. The food in Game of Thrones is described in a way that it is just delectable and mouth-watering, and everyone loves it, and so many people talk about how delicious the food is. And I think food is a really important part of the story because it tells you so much about where you are and also who these characters are, because food is just a big part of life in general. But even though the food is something that stands out to a lot of people, a lot of people are missing the healthy eating lesson that is baked in. Get it? Baked in? And I think this is something that stands out to me because I am a dietitian and I think about food just a little bit differently than your average person. Also, if you are new here and you're into healthy eating stuff or you want to learn more about nutrition and how to live a healthy lifestyle, then make sure that you subscribe because that's what this channel is all about. So in Game of Thrones, we get these wonderful descriptions of rich stews with barley and carrots and leeks and turnips, of roasted meats and roasted chicken, flaky white fish, hearty warm breads and juicy fruits. And everyone just oozes and awes over it because it all does sound delicious. But the truth is these are just basic whole foods. Vegetables, fruits, grains, meat, poultry, fish, herbs, and spices. They're healthy and they're nutritious. But I don't think most people consider the food in Game of Thrones to be healthy food. That's just not the way they think about it because most people think healthy food is boring and tasteless and the food in Game of Thrones is neither of those. And this is something I see a lot, especially at things like health fairs where I'm talking to a lot of people. Almost always at least one person will come up and say something along the lines of, I love XYZ food, but it tastes so good so I know it can't be good for me. Or if I have healthy food, food samples for people to try, a lot of times they're hesitant or resistant because they're thinking, what is this food that this dietitian is trying to give me? I'm sure that it's going to taste terrible. And then if they do actually try it, you kind of see this light come on behind their eyes when they take the first bite. Usually they take the first bite and then they're like, oh, this tastes good. I mean, that, those are the words that people say, this tastes good. And then they'll take another bite this is really good, you know? And it's this shock and surprise because a lot of people don't think that healthy food and food that tastes good can be the same thing. But it totally can be. And I mean, if you've been hanging around on my channel for a little while, especially if you've seen any of my what I eat in a day videos, you know that I'm not eating tasteless, boring, gross food. My food tastes good and I wouldn't eat it if it didn't taste good. And I think another part of this is that the food in Game of Thrones is food that takes a little bit of effort, a little bit of thought. It's not something that you're gonna pull out of a bag or pull out of a box. And so for people who aren't doing a lot of cooking, that kind of food can seem special. And I think this is also why people make such a big deal over Thanksgiving sometimes. I mean, if you think about it, Thanksgiving food really isn't that spectacular. I mean, if I think about what my family has at Thanksgiving, it's roasted turkey, roasted vegetables, mashed potatoes, cornbread stuffing, biscuits. I mean, these are just basic things. Now, don't get me wrong, it's all delicious, so it is spectacular in that way. I mean, I love all of the food, but it's not this super special thing that you can't have throughout the year. I mean, yes, on any other Thursday, you're probably not going to have the variety of food, all the different types at one time like you do on Thanksgiving, but you can roast up a chicken any day of the week. You can make mashed potatoes or roasted vegetables any day of the week. These things aren't foods that are outside of our grasp throughout the year. They just take a little bit of thought and a little bit of effort. You can have this kind of food often. It just takes a little bit of meal planning. Now, if you want to see how I meal plan, I have a video on that, so I'll link it for you. But it's not something that takes a ton of time or a ton of effort. It's just sitting down for a little while and saying, I'm going to have this on Monday, this on Tuesday, and then making your grocery list 
list and getting those things at the store so you have them. Now you're probably not gonna have several courses each night like they do at a big banquet on Game of Thrones or like your family might do on Thanksgiving, but I mean, you can make a rich, hearty, barley stew, all you have to do is throw some barley and some broth and some vegetables in a slow cooker and let it do its thing all day and then come home and have dinner. You can roast a chicken in your oven. I mean, we have these amazing ovens that we can just preheat and then they stay at the same temperature and we don't have to babysit them or do anything. You just put the chicken in there, let it do its thing and cook, and then you come back and it's ready to eat. Healthy food tastes good and it's something you can have throughout the year. So if you are drooling over food descriptions in Game of Thrones or really eyeing those banquet scenes on the show, I have to tell you, you like healthy food and you can have it in your house. I hope you like this video, whether you're as excited about Game of Thrones as me or not. And if you are new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and healthy lifestyle stuff, then make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle, it really doesn't have to be complicated. And I wanna show you how to do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.